In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a blood group compatible slide in PowerPoint. And you can see here, I've created this uh, blood pouch, which has written A positive with some blood here. And then I've added a uh, different uh, blood types. And how it happens is when I click, it will show you this particular A positive is compatible with which other uh, the blood group types. So when I click, you can see here it is compatible with A positive and AB positive. And likewise, I have created one more slide which is for A negative. Now, A negative, this is compatible with A positive, A negative, as well as AB positive and AB negative. So, similar slides you can create for O positive, O negatives, and the remaining blood types. If you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram, telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, and I'm going to add one the blood pouch here. For that, go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size and later on we can increase or decrease it shape outline make it no outline and then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid shape outline no outline go to rotate and i'm going to make it flip vertical reduce the height you can see here and then zoom in and you can see a small orange point just drag this inside and maybe this much size all right and then go to insert once again shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose this one rectangles top corner rounded select that one and add at the top again zoom and you can see a small orange point just drag this inside it becomes like this if you want to reduce the height you can reduce also and shape outline make it no outline and then i'm selecting all of these three go to merge shapes and union it and if you want you can give some different color but before that i'm going to change the background color so right mouse click go to format background and under solid fill i can choose any color gray or light gray dark gray so depending on your requirement you can choose that and for this i'm going to give maybe a color of uh, say a light blue or i can give some dark color also so but let me just give first white all right and then i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this one and i'm going to fill this with red all right you can see here and go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle draw the rectangle and this part only i'm going to cut it so select this one hold the shift key select this blue rectangle merge shape and subtract and i'm going to put exactly here this one so it looks like kind of a blood here all right and if you want you can add one more uh, and increase the size but i think this is okay for us now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select both these things press ctrl g to group it and hold the shift key reduce the size so you can see here i've just reduced the size and i've kept it here at the top and right mouse click group ungroup this one all right now i'm going to put one text go to insert and add the text box here for example i'm going to type a positive plus okay and increase the size can see here maybe if you want put it center align make it bold and i'm going to paste it here all right a positive for example if you want to change the color of this one you can just change the color if you don't want it's up to you for so let me just put a plus here all right and then i'm going to add few more the other blood groups which is like i think the first is o positive one side I'm going to put all positive, the other side I'm going to put all negative. And then this one maybe I can select the open sans font, make it bold, increase the size. And then hold the control shift key together and then add the other side also. 
this will be o negative and then i'm going to select both of these hold the control shift key at the bottom this is second this is third and this is fourth so this is now i'm going to talk about a positive and then a negative then i've got a b positive and a b negative and the other one which is b positive okay so i'm just going to type that one b positive and here b negative so maybe it should come the other way around actually this should be a positive and sorry b positive b negative and this is a b positive and a b negative all right so once this is done let me just move this somewhat up here and then i'm going to add some lines which is connecting with this one so for that go to insert shapes and from the lines i'm going to select this one which is curve all right so just click here exactly at the center and one you need to just click it here just double click and release it shape outline make it white you can see here and increase the weight maybe three points and then right mouse click edit point you can see two points so first point i'm selecting this drag this down and this also you can just drag this down something like this all right so if you want you can just adjust readjust also now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d rotate i can make it flip horizontal and then put it here maybe this one i need to move towards this side all right now let me just duplicate this one press select this one press ctrl d to duplicate bring it the down with a and then you can just increase the size something like this you can see here and ctrl d to duplicate and go to format rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and then just attach it here and this one we have to align it towards this one so let me just align towards the right all right then again select this one duplicate bring it here to b positive and again increase it here and later on we need to adjust a little bit all right press ctrl d to duplicate again flip horizontal and put it here exactly all right then the last one i'm going to put at the a b negative increase the size all right something like this again duplicate this one and you can just make it flip horizontal again and exactly put it here at the a b positive and this one i can move towards the right and then go to home make it right align all right then you can just adjust it accordingly so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the animation to it and before adding the animation let me just select this one and make it white and this also i'm selecting and making it white and then i'm going to select this all and bring to front so it looks something like this let me just remove the guides also and now it's time to do the animation for example if a positive a positive blood is compatible with what so i can just select the a positive plus a b positive all right so that animation we need to do now so now i'm just going to select this uh, a positive this line press ctrl uh, d to duplicate and i'm going to give the color as red so shape outline make it red this one and this also i'm going to duplicate press ctrl d to duplicate and for this also i'm going to make the font color as red all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to place this exactly on top of the this one you can see here i've just played exactly on the top of this and this also i'm going to place exactly on top of the a positive so it looks like red all right now it's time to give the animation for this line so to add the animation close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane then you can see this line i'm not going to add the animation to this i'm going to add the animation to this white line okay 
so what I'm going to do now I'm going to add the animation go to the more exit effects and select the wipe and click OK effect options save from right so it looks something like this so now why I have added the exit animation so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this one I'm going to exactly place this one here first let me just select the white and bring to front okay let me just bring to front this one and this red I'm going to hide behind the white line okay and make sure that it is well hidden like this all right now how the animation works is when I click so it comes something like this you can see here as if the blood comes from here so now select this one the red one and this also I'm going to add the animation the same animation I'm going to add the animation which is again exit path I'm going to select the wipe click OK and this one should be from the top like this bring this at the top you can see here double click this timings make it slow click OK and this should happen with previous but I can just increase it here something like this all right if I play now it comes something like this all right so maybe I can just reduce it till here and then it comes like this so now this also I'm going to make it uh, slow not very fast all right if I do like that maybe in that case I'm going to select with previous so let's play so it comes like this you can see here all right and once this is done this a positive I'm going to add the animation which should be this one entrance okay so entrance more entrance effect and I'm going to make it wipe make it from right and this should happen after previous so let me just play now when I click you can see here it comes something like this all right so now the same thing I have to do for the AV positive again I'm selecting this one press ctrl D to duplicate so this time I'm selecting this one and I'm going to make this as a red line all right and this one I'm going to bring to front okay and the animation I can simply copy this animation this white line select this line go to the animations enable the animation paint sorry go uh, select the animation painter and click this one so it comes like this you can see here and then exactly I'm going to paste it at the top of this line all right and then the same thing AV positive also or I can just duplicate this one press ctrl D to duplicate you can see here already the animation added so this one I'm going to make it AB positive and I'm going to place it exactly here all right so let's play now when I click you can see here sorry this has to be with previous only this also has to be with previous so here this is a problem so for this also I have to make it with previous and then I can just increase it till here all right so something like this also I'm going to make it with previous and just delay like this all right so if I play the animation it should come together all right like this so what you can do is for example you have to just make sure that this is properly aligned otherwise it will be visible okay all right so now if you want to add like for a negative you have to just select this one duplicate the slide and make this as a negative and then you need to add the same red and white lines here on top of this and then you can do the same animation effect.